Hi students, this animation and description would help you to learn physics even more easier and better. So please do watch it and enjoy learning physics. Diffraction grating an arrangement consisting of a large number of equidistant parallel narrow slits of equal width separated by equal opaque portions is known as a diffraction grating. The plane transmission grating is a plain sheet of transparent material on which opaque rulings are made with a fine diamond pointer. The modern commercial form of grating contains about 6000 lines per centimeter. The rulings act as obstacles having a definite width B and transparent space between the rulings act as a slit of width A. The combined width of a ruling and a slit is called as grating element E. Points on successive slits separated by a distance equal to the grating element are called corresponding points. Mn represents the section of a plane transmission grating. A, B, C, D, E, F are the successive slits of equal width A and B, C, D, E be the rulings of equal width B. Let E is equal to A plus B. Let A plane wave front of monochromatic light of wavelength lambda be incident normally on the grating. According to Huygens principle, the point in the slit A, B, C, D, etc act as a source of secondary wavelets which spread in all directions on the other side of the grating. Let us consider the secondary diffracted wavelets which makes an angle theta with the normal to the grating. The path difference between the wavelets from one pair of corresponding points A and C is Cg is equal to A plus B into sin theta. It will be seen that the path difference between waves from any pair of corresponding points is also a plus b into sin theta. The point p1 will be bright when a plus b into sin theta is equal to m into lambda, where m is, is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. In the undiffracted position, theta is equal to 0 and hence sin theta is equal to 0. A plus B into sin theta is equal to 0, satisfies the condition of brightness for M is equal to 0. Hence, the wavelets proceeding in the direction of the incident rays will produce maximum intensity at the center O of the screen. This is called zero order maximum or central maximum. If A plus B into sin theta 1 is equal to lambda, the diffracted wavelets inclined at an angle theta 1 to the incident direction reinforce and the first order maximum is obtained. Similarly, for second order maximum, A plus B into sin theta 2 is equal to 2 lambda. On either side of central maxima, different orders of secondary maxima are formed at the point P1, P2. In general, a plus B into sin theta is equal to M lambda is the condition for maximum intensity where M is an integer, the order of the maximum intensity. Sin theta is equal to M lambda by A plus B or sin theta is equal to N M lambda where N is equal to 1 by A plus B gives the number of grating element or number of lines per unit width of the grating. When white light is used, the diffraction pattern consists of a white central maximum and on both sides, continuous colored images are formed. In the undiffracted position, theta is equal to zero and hence sine theta is equal to zero. Therefore, sine theta is equal to n m lambda is satisfied for m is equal to 0 for all values of lambda. Hence, at O, all the wavelengths reinforce each other 
producing maximum intensity for all wavelengths. Hence, an undispersed white image is obtained. As theta increases, a plus b into sine theta first passes through lambda by two values for all colors from violet to red and hence darkness results. As theta further increases, a plus b into sine theta passes through lambda values of all colors resulting in the formation of bright images producing a spectrum from violet to red. These spectra are formed on either side of white, the central maximum. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe this channel for more videos.